Hello and welcome. You're watching The Full View here on SABC News Channel. Thank you so much for joining the team here in Studio 11 this Friday evening. Hoping that you've been enjoying your viewing here on SABC News Channel as we give you a blow-by-blow account of uh, the latest news, the top stories, uh, the outcomes in court, which uh, some, can, some say could change our political and legal trajectories. So we continue to talk about those developments and others. Let's go straight to the news headlines. The decision to suspend Mr. Mahashule was A, effected in terms of the ANC constitution, B, was precautionary in nature, C, complied with the law relevant to precautionary suspensions. Well, at the South Gauteng High Court, judges Jody Colopin, Sharice Wiener and Edwin Mulatsehi unanimously dismissed Mahashule's uh, urgent application to overturn his suspension from the all-powerful position with costs. The following order shall issue. The application is dismissed with cost, such costs to include those occasioned by the employment of senior counsel. I heard... A former president, Jacob Zuma's bid to stay his arrest, dismissed by the Peter Marisburg High Court. Zuma spends his third day at the Escort Correctional Centre in KwaZulu Natal. Tribes continue to pour in for the late Johannesburg Mayor Jeff Makubo, who has died at the age of 53 following COVID-19 complications. Sports news, great news for South Africa. Khutajo Mungdani making history by being the first black woman to reach the singles final at Wimbledon. She is now one win away from being crowned Wimbledon Women's Wheelchair Champion. And our question of the day, it's about the protests that continue in Guazulu Natal as the NC Provincial Chair Sisle Zigalala warns that a jailed Zuma will cost the party votes. What are your thoughts around this? Send us your comments to hashtag full view, including the NPA and the police saying they're working together to uh, bring charges against those who are agitating behind some of these protests, which have uh, led to a destruction of infrastructure, intimidation of some, and of course, uh, breaching COVID-19 laws, including those around firearms. You can view our interviews and features by going to sabcnews.com. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter.